Guys, wait here. Hello, lost guys, wait here. Tim Z eighty nine with a new episode. I'm thinking about doing it two times a day or something. Maybe on Friday or something. Very cool, wacky fact or story. I don't know. But today we're gonna be talking about Anna Lucia Barbosa is a dominating present in the modeling in industry. That's because she's six foot eight inch. 200 pound Brazilian beauty makes her money by dominating people, dominatrix. Well, I don't know enough. They should do that too, maybe. As imagine Amazon, yeah, Amazon Cynthia Barbosa. 30 years old, gets paid about around 300 an hour by men who want to be squashed. And that goes for all you guys think, oh, all the guys want a skinny, hot girl who will bow down to you. And quote, she said, there's no shortage of willing clients, happy. In happy to pay me to sit on them, wrestle them, pick them up, and generally boss them around. Barbosa told Barcroft TV, I'm finding this line of work has changed my life, and now I'm able to provide for my family. That's a good way to make money. Like, I mean, I'm not being sarcastic, but that is good. Beat the mail. Bottom around. And as she was a child growing up in the Brazil, Brazil, her height made her stand out in the crowd in a way that she didn't like. She was surprised and she never really liked herself. She played basketball in, in her teens, but after that, it the injury. She didn't know what to do with her life. And she told the um, New York Post, a chance meeting with a stranger in a bar led her to Amazon modeling of fetishes for many women who are attracted to being strong women. Being strong women who don't need a man. Dominate her. She can just dominate him. About that, based on that going, the um, online just make this space or something like that. Mm. However, she insists nothing sexual takes place between her clients and her. Some men just want to be roughed up and manhandled, other than cuddled and smothered. Some just want to give me the money. <laughs> that could happen. Here, take my money. Okay? And what am I supposed to do? I ain't stopping you. No, I want you to punch me. When I first started, she said, I was still running the ropes and I ended up breaking two ribs on a client after sitting. There's on some him. sex fantasy should remain fancy, especially involving pop rocks. One couple found a hard way when the woman insisted on inserting some of the exploding candy rocks in, in her sex organ and hope of increasing the sensation, Wrong. but that not in a good way, according to David G. Mayer, an emergency team around Philippine in Newport Beach, California. He treated the unnamed woman with her husband and discussed her, not just with sex, 
extra experience on sex sent me to the okay. ER and um, to the good doctor complain about the rocks. He was surprised. She said the rocks were supposed to have added our sexual pleasure and it made my and I made my husband use them. My explained so she said uh, she bought these candy rocks which are supposed to explode and tingle and sensation to the sex. You are dumb. You are dumb. However, the tingling pop rocks had the opposite effect on the woman causing it burning and itching feeling inside her private part. Of course, you're stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. And yeah. And that's all for Guys Free News. Jim C89.